Hello, my name is Doug Digital, and in this video, we are going to talk Hello Bonsai. Now, I've previously recorded a video about Hello Bonsai about two years ago, and since that time, the team at Hello Bonsai have made some very exciting changes to the platform. Now, first and foremost, if you haven't seen in quite some time, you will immediately notice a rebrand, some much tidier icons on the left hand side. Some features you may have seen uh, disappear, but you may also see some new ones. And one of which you can see right here. This is the new project board view, the Kanban view that shows you the status of projects. Now I've already got a little test project here for myself, Doug Adams. And this effectively mirrors what some might refer to as a pipeline. Now this is entirely customizable, so you can hop in here, you can edit the group, you could add a new group. But imagine for example that you are a freelancer, you have a new lead, you've sent them a proposal, so you're gonna move that, that project over to proposal sent. But what's really cool is with Bonsai's new uh, form automations, you can automate a new lead being created and a new project being created here. So. As I say, this is the simple uh, board view where you can edit, customize, and perhaps you want to add in a new group here that says uh, completed or approved, or let's say, um, yeah, let's say closed. So this project is green, um, it's closed, and I'm gonna move that over there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna head over to forms. And in forms, uh, a question that I had in my previous video is can you use forms as a way to capture leads? And I think at the time when this was first coming out, I, I don't think that was really applicable. But now I think we could actually use it as a lead capture. But also what we can do is we can use this to, to get some ideas as well. So as with a lot of bonsai tools, they have a lot of templates. So I'm going to visit new form and I'm going to use a template. So I can see some great forms already. Let's say I'm looking at a, a client intake form. I'm looking to get a new, new client. And I've got this one here, business intake. So I'll preview that. Oh, it's quite lengthy here. So lots and lots of questions. Really good for an intake form, of course. Um, let's see if we can find something that's slightly shorter. Uh, let's say client booking form. Mm, again, Still quite quite lengthy, so I'm going to go back again. Uh, maybe there's something slightly simpler, slightly um, slightly shorter. Ah, there we go. First name, last name, email. What country do you live in? What is your address? What's your phone number? And I'm going to use that template. So I'm going to click Use Template. Now here we are. And as with anything in Hello Bonsai, we have the ability to very quickly drag and drop additional. Fields. So perhaps in this one, I want these clients to upload an asset. So I'll click on File, Download. And there we go there. I've got a new field here, and I can use the arrows to shift that around on my form. And perhaps I want to click on there. I don't want it to be required, so it's an optional field there. Uh, let's say this country that you live in. Yeah, I'm going to change this to um, uh, what are your biggest challenges. There we go. And perhaps I want to add an image. So I'm very quickly going to click and add. And there I've added an image. So that of course could be a simple, um, a small logo. Uh, obviously a headshot would be great. And we can of course uh, move these as we've said, but we can add uh, different fields there. And also in settings, again, we've got the customizability that we come to expect from a Hello Bonsai form. So let's uh, uncheck that. And perhaps I want to change some of the text color. Uh, so maybe I want it to be red. Oof, gosh, just to give it a little bit of branding, add a capture in there just to avoid any spam coming through. Um, and I can change my background image there. So I'm going to remove that and I'm going to add in a quick background image. Ah, So obviously the image here, not the right format. It would be great if Hello Bonsai gave us some formatting 
uh, recommendations so that we can can amend that as as needs be because in my view that that would be very helpful but for what it's worth we can certainly add a little background image there so I'll just close that so it's nice and clean but what I really wanted to show you is obviously you've got your your options you can copy the form link which is really great if you wanted to add this in an email perhaps you're onboarding some clients you're having a good email exchange and you give them a little link to the form here because What's going to be really cool is when we go to edit automation. Now, what we can now do is we can choose to, by standard, create a project automatically when a form is submitted by a new client or lead. And that project will then appear in that board view that we saw earlier. And I can choose the state that I want that to sit in. So perhaps this form, uh, when this this is created, when this is created, this is a client intake form. And I give a, give, it, give a name, test, and then I'll assign that to new lead. Or perhaps it could be a proposal sent, so it's straight through the proposal. Very exciting. But what we can also do is create new automation. This isn't very expansive, so if you're familiar with some of the automation tools out there, you might be thinking, hmm, this could, could have a little bit more flavor to it. And I do believe that is true. But what we can do here is when this form is filled out, I can schedule an event using uh, Bonsai. I could schedule a meeting via Calendly. So if you use Calendly to book in, in uh, a meeting, this would be a really great way to get that started. So let's say you have a meeting uh, intake form just to help qualify the leads that come through. And then you send them to your Calendly. So they give you some information, they've completed the form, and then you send them straight to your Calendly. Uh, you can obviously send them a message, say, oh, thank you for your message. Uh, a member of the team will be in touch. Or perhaps you want to uh, send them an, another form. Maybe they've responded with a project request and you queue up another one, queue up another form that says, hey, um, here's um, a project review. So it could be that they have expressed interest. And by completing that first form, that intake form, you can immediately queue up the next step, which is very, very exciting. But what we could also do is we could look at global automations. So now let's move over to global automations. So this so stays there. Set up custom actions to be performed automatically on your behalf. So new automation. And now we can see uh, that we had that form filled out and we've got those other automations there. But we can also see some other automations that we can trigger. And these are more broad, less about the form, and more about general triggers that you may want to activate. So this is, I think, quite a recent feature that Hello Bonds I have introduced. Um, very much uh, in my last video, we didn't really see too much in the way of automations. But now, um, a really good one that I like is, is when a project is marked complete, send a form. So what I have is an automation that when a client's project is completed, I'll send out a client feedback form. Really, really great way to get client feedback, get some some scores, uh, anecdotally your, your NPS scores, net promoter score. But I really like that. When a proposal is accepted, again, you could send them a form. So they've accepted the form and perhaps you have a, um, a, a sort of a, a feedback so that once they've accepted the form, there'll be a few required uh, pieces of information. So let's say that you are a social media manager, you sent out a contract, you sent out a proposal, and when they s accept that proposal, you trigger a form that could say, for example, please provide information about your social media platforms. You get that, and then you have all the information that will allow you and enable you to conduct your process. Uh, again, when a contract is signed, similar thing here. What I really like to do is when a contract is signed, let's immediately get some time in the diary as a kickoff session. So a client has signed the contract. Great. Okay. Now it's time for us to get a meeting booked in and we can automate that here. Very, very exciting. Or it could be as something as simple as a message to say when a contract is signed by a client, send an action. Now, Traditionally, if, if you're familiar with something like Go High Level or Active Campaign, you would have a sec essentially a succession of automations. So it would say a contract is client signed by a client, you send them a message, and then you send a follow-up. 
Now, unfortunately, if you would like to do, let's say, um, two actions when someone completes a contract, you're going to have to set them up as separate automation. So in this instance here, I'll say test. I'll save that automation. But then also I'm going to need to go back new automation. And then if I want to then send them to a form such as my um, uh, project review form. Hello. I'm going to need to set one up separately, not the end of the world, but just be mindful that if you want to queue up multiple actions, when something happens, you're going to need to create multiple automations, not the end of the world, but still worth bearing in mind. The other thing that is relatively new is this services feature. So this services feature is a really great way to log all of your activities. Now this is, um, I actually don't charge these rates. This is very much me testing the feature. Uh, Hello Bonds, I gave me a list of uh, features and I just clicked and selected the ones that seemed of interest to me. So I can click view templates and I can see again what Hello Bonds does very well, provide you with your sort of pre-made examples. So I'm in marketing, uh, ad management is very common. So yep. I'll click add to library and there we go service added to your library and I want to edit that so I, oh this one already come there Let, let's add another one that's a blog article click to edit and here we are I can now come in here and edit the information now what's great about this is when it comes to creating invoices I can then just select from my list of services so Supposing you are you've onboarded a new client, you can prepare all of your services in advance with all of your rates and all of your descriptions to make it as simple as possible. Now, let's say, for example, this analytics reporting. I don't do this per hour. I do this on a, um, a flat fee. So I charge a flat fee of £500 for this. So if someone requests that, I can add that as a line item on my invoice and it automatically pulls through the description, the tag here that we've got the category. Very, very nice. And supposing I want to edit that category, I can just click in here and choose another category. Nice and simple. That's what we like. Uh, and then let's head over to categories. So we've got a, a couple of buckets here. Really good if you're an agency or you're a solo entrepreneur and you offer various categories of services, let's say you're full suite and you only want to offer a particular service, you can come in here, you can give it a name and you can choose a nice color as well. It would be nice if we can have some custom colors so you can really brand it how you'd like. But again, I think they've got a good selection of colors there. So the other thing I want to talk about now is the scheduling. So scheduling is uh, if you're familiar with events, uh, sorry, if you're familiar with Calendly and you want to book events, what you can do is you can actually make a booking page. So here's an example here, a 30 minute meeting. So I'm gonna book that for tomorrow and I'm gonna book that for, actually it's Friday, it's Wednesday as I'm recording this and I want 3.30 to 4, 4 p.m. Confirm and what it does is it allows you to, to take payment and confirm your calendar bookings in one place. So we're, we're jumping ahead here. So I'm just going to come, come back a step. So what is this in simple terms? This is a way for you to create uh, essentially uh, booking forms. Uh, so, so demo bookings or perhaps um, meetings. And what you can do is you can connect it to your calendar. So you simply connect it to your Google Calendar or whatever calendar that you use and that will allow you to monitor um, your bookings and you'll get a booking invitation, which is great. Um, and then let's uh, let's actually let's create a new event for this. So it's going to be a consultation call. Cool. Uh, that's going to be over video conferencing and it's going to be over Google Meets. It's 30 minutes, not going to be uh, requiring a payment. It's a free consultation. So I'll change the name of that to free consultation. And I'll give this a name free consultation. And I'll give this a simple description. This is this is a free consultation call with Doug Digital. 
and then we'll get a confirmation email to the client. Fantastic. So let's hit continue. And now I get to choose my availability and it's got my included all calendars. So perhaps you have multiple team members. You might want to have just one calendar. So there's my calendar there. And I'm just going to exit out of that. So it's got all of my calendars. And I'm going to say that I am only available uh, between the hours of 3 p.m. Oh, 3, 3 and 4 p.m. Very, very in demand. There we go. Nice and simple. It would be nice if we can have, um, we could just input this by text, but nonetheless, very straightforward. And supposing you work at different time frames, you can, of course, choose different time zones just to make it as easy and straightforward as possible. I'll hit continue. Invitees can schedule up to 30 days into the future. Great. Don't allow it event, it, eventees to book events eight hours before start time. I like to do 24 hours just to give me a little bit of lead time in order to prepare for any calls. And then um, uh, a real must if you do want to again prepare for calls do give yourself a little bit of a buffer 15 minutes beforehand so you can prepare ahead of time make sure that you're aware of any uh, peculiarities about the call and also after the event i i do like to make sure that any clients get a, a quick summary after a call so good good practice just to make sure you give yourself a buffer of 15 minutes afterwards and then proposing Oh, so proposing that you would like to ask some questions, you can add a simple question here. And I'll put a required question in there. Interestingly here, that, that's ma ra rather annoying if I want to select the cog there. Um, required question. So I can obviously answer, uh, what are you looking to gain from the call? Now let's, let's rename this to something more active. Um, what would a successful I can't spell successful there we go well it is what it is now successful call look like for you personally I think we should be able to ask more questions but I would recommend using the form that we saw earlier uh, that to me would be a better use of time here so they um, so they get a form and then they get a follow-up email message which contains a link which we'll see in a minute to access this. Send an email. I like to do one an hour before and one 24 hours. We could do days. There we go. Very good practice. And then we move on to branding and design. Um, let's, gonna, let's choose sunrise, but perhaps you want to add a custom theme. Perhaps you want to have your brand colors in there and you want to give it a little bit of, a little bit of green there. Oh, what? What a mishmash of color right there. Um, if that's your brand color, yep, power to you. And of course, uh, bonsai branding. Ideally, while I do love you, hello bonsai, this is a white label experience. This is, this is your brand. Let's own that because we're taking the time to customize that. But let's finish. And there we go. I've got my custom link there that I can now access. And oof, those colors are looking potent. So I've got those selected times. I'll click on that. I'll click confirm. I put my name, my email, and my question response there and schedule event. And then lo and behold, we've got a client who has booked their call. So let's just hop back now to our scheduling view. I'm gonna close that. And now I can see on the right hand side, free consultation call. So what I can then do is I'll copy that. And perhaps if I go back to my, uh, let's say I want to go back to my automation. So let's just, let's just go back to our forms for a second. And let's say we've got client request. They complete the client request. Uh, they give me some great information, edit automation. And then what I'll say is when they fill it out, they get a uh, scheduled an event and then free consultation call. Fantastic. So they complete this form and then they immediately get to schedule an event using the free consultation call. Fantastic. 
nice and simple and effective and a really great way for you to uh, capture leads. But when we talk about capturing leads, what we can also do now is we can embed this. So we've got our public link, which you could put into your email footers. But what you could also do is embed this. So if you have a website, copy this and you can now put this on to your website. So again, this is addressing that that question that I received in the previous video. Apologies, I can't, I can't remember the user's name that, that posted this. But this is a really fantastic way to use your Hello Bonsai forms as a way to generate leads and clients. And we've just seen that we can then also power this with Hello Bonsai's really simple, really direct event booking. So really, really nice way to round this out. Um, and obviously, if you want to send an email, you can just say, hey, here's the form. Go complete it. Great. Nice and simple. And then finally, if you do have uh, some feedback, you can then start to see your responses contained in that form, which is really, really great to see. So that's about all I wanted to cover today, keeping it very short and sweet just to introduce you to just a couple of the new features and some of the things that I've been playing around with in Hello Bonsai. Now, there's a lot more to discover. And if you want to see what's new, just a quick note here, as we've discussed, we've got the embedded booking form, which is as recent as June the 22nd. We've got those project automations, which is great. Some of the other things we didn't discuss in this video is the ability to upload files to your project, which is really exciting. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, adding um, projects so that clients can come into their client dashboard. And then we've just seen the scheduling, which is fantastic. And then we've got a couple of new things, which are actually new to me, new retainer proposal templates. So some new templates, which is great. Uh, a new search feature. Uh, the 